Lovely lords and ladies of the court and peasants. <laughs> the king has a few things he would like me to say. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Welcome to the Renaissance. For those of you who don't know, the Renaissance was only slightly after the medieval age. This was the Industrial Revolution of the 1300s through the 1700s. I say this because it was filled with all of these amazing inventors and, and engineers such as Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo. Mm. Uh, today we celebrate the Renaissance with fairs. Uh, the history of the Renaissance fair is actually much deeper and, com and more complicated than one might think. So here it is. I'll try to summarize some of that here all day. Starts with two people, Phyllis and Ron Patterson. Phyllis was an English teacher who believed in learning through acting. Ah, she and her students would put on all these amazing performances on Shakespeare and other famous writers and inspirational people throughout history. At the time, she was teaching in Laurel Canyon, California in the 1950s, just after World War II. The senator, at, the senator at the time was Joseph McCarthy, and he believed that America was full of evil communists. Now, communism is a way of governing a country that is based on the distribution of money. So everyone is told what jobs to work at, what teams you should buy, etc. He, he was convinced that in the United States there were communists everywhere, especially Hollywood. Uh, so he started the blacklist, which was basically a list of everybody he thought were communists. Uh, and these people were not allowed to work. Now back to Mrs. Patterson. At the time, she loved this one radio station called KTFK Pacifica. Uh, and they were against the blacklist and thought something should be done. So they asked people to put on fundraisers. Uh, so, Mrs. Patterson and her students decided to put on the first Renaissance Fair. Ah. They made up background stories for all of the participants and got, and got props and replica weapons for, uh, for the fair, since a lot of her neighbors were out of a job because they were all on the blacklist. Ah. It, okay. And the fair was a huge success. Actually, it, it took 500 volunteers, but it, changed, it, it raised a ton of money for the radio station. Uh, later, it became a national trend of what the king is now studying. Mm -hmm. uh, and now for more modern Renaissance Fair. Uh, the, the modern Renaissance Fair is a very large, very fun thing to do when you have nothing else to do. But the fair that, that the king went to, the Kansas City Fair, was one of the larger fairs. And guess what the first thing that he saw was? Okay, any guesses? I'm not calling on you. Uh, Conrad. A bounce house. No. Yeah. Uh, Christopher? Is his electrical not made? Maybe he saw something a little electrical? No. Nope. Alexander? I think Mummy of the King was you for mustard on. I'm just gonna go ahead and ask. Okay, Aaron. Uh, a roller coaster or a chocolate fountain? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, a chocolate. That's the same thing. Uh, uh Leo, last guess. The eight. The what? The eight. The eight. Food. Oh, eight. Okay. No. Okay. Stop. Stop. No more yes. Okay. It was a shirtless man yelling, Do you want to buy a pickle? Pickles! I give you great price. Pickles! Pickles! <laughs> so that was the start of his day. <clears throat> the next thing that he wanted to see that was not throwing pickles was the joust. The joust is one of the biggest attractions at the fair. Sometimes over 500 people will all cram onto wooden or stone benches, or sometimes even grass, just to watch the joust. Now, I keep saying the word joust, and some of you might not know what that means. 
the word jouse is uh, is is what uh, a jouse is where two people on horseback charge at each other and try to knock the other person off of his or her, her horse. Uh, the first round lasted about a half an hour, and the king and his escort didn't catch the second round. And he found that in order to joust, you must be trained in the following. Uh, acting, circus training, equestrian training, and stunt man or woman training. He also found a great little area where you can fight a knight. The knights in question are the only professional group in Missouri called the Royal Guard. Uh, he managed to find some information on what you have to do to join the group. You can start at age 10 and spend the next four years polishing weapons. Uh, then at age 14, you apprentice to become part of the Royal Guard and meet every Sunday to hone your skills in knighthood. And now for the less fun part. As for every fun thing that you do, there's always costs. For the king, this is not a problem, but for all of you peasants down here, that might wait, that will probably be the case. Ah. So now for costs. Tickets can be tickets to a Renaissance Fair can be anywhere from ten to twenty five dollars per ticket, but you'll want to bring at least one hundred dollars in spending money because their stuff is not cheap. Uh, and if an advertisement for a fair says major fair, he would advise he would advise going to that one because major fair means that over 100,000 people are expected to show up over the course of a month. Uh, there are going to be a lot of crowds, obviously, but, this, but that means that it's extremely well done. And if you're wondering, 46 states put on Renaissance fairs. So if you want to go, so if you want to go to one yourself, the king would highly recommend that. And he can safely can say, say that Renaissance fairs are amazing, and I hope you have enjoyed his announcement on Renaissance fairs. And now for a few slideshows, and now for a small slideshow from the King's experience at the Renaissance fair. Uh, they have these people are not actors that work. These are not employees. These are just random people who actually go to the fair. They go a little crazy. Uh, they here's a here's a few pictures from the joust. There we go. There's them knocking each other off. And if if they if they come to a tie, then they go into ground combat. They have uh, large art installations like this. <laughs> Uh, uh, here's the fight a night area. You can you have a choice of short, short wooden, log wooden, or metal. Obviously, he chose metal. Uh, you put on fencing equipment, padded gloves, and a protective vest. Here's the king, all of being skewered by a knight. Here's the king after he's been skewered by a knight. <laughs> <laughs> and here's 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 both the knight and the king in victory. Here, and here's the wooden area. <laughs> and, and as you can see by this massively large glove here, uh, <laughs> that they are highly padded. Uh, they also have games that you can play. Here's the king doing a little archery challenge. And they have bungee jumps as well. They don't have to, they have petting jumps as well. They have photo opportunities. <laughs> They have nice, ga nice old uh, Norwegian games that you can play. But don't have too much fun, otherwise you end up like him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they here's a here's a here's a show that we went to called Tricks of the Light, which are professional fire performers, meaning that they spew fire like this guy. Here's the here's her holding a metal shield while being breathed on, and here's her hula hooping with fire. Fairly yeah. <laughs> well, and yeah, I hope you and I hope you have enjoyed my pre my my presentation on Renaissance fans. Any questions? Uh, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about the big metal dude? Oh yes. Uh, <laughs> this guy. Um, Can you get him? Okay. 
Um, this was actually a birthday present to me. Um, so on so on July fourth, uh, I heard the doorbell ring, went to answer it, and this guy was sitting there in a big Uncle Sam hat and a little a little flag pinwheel. Uh, um, Where did you get that? We have a big hat box. Um, like a really big hat box. We've got sombreros. We've got. Uh, we've got my Civil War hat that I wore yesterday, but yeah, all sorts of things. Just for this, that's <laughs> so where did you go to see the king do all of those fun things? Uh, actually, the king provided me with these with these um, uh, photos. Photo photography is actually a very new thing nowadays. Uh, like where where did where was that? Oh, uh, this was in Kansas City. Okay. Stage so, combat? Yeah. Uh, yeah, stage combat class, and they were missing, and they were mentioning the Renaissance Fair, and I mentioned that, <laughs> that I had never been to one, and my instructor got mad. <laughs> so I was like, well, let's go to a Renaissance Fair. Uh, this was before October came in. This happened, um, what was it there? First October. part of October. October 1st? Mm -hmm. All right. This happened October 1st. So, yeah. That was, that was fun. Uh, what is it laid out of? <laughs> <laughs> Probably pot metal. It's probably a mix of a yeah. little bit of brass, a little bit of okay. tin, a little bit of. Anna, is this what you're about the night? Then save it. Okay. Oh. Anybody else? <laughs> so, Michael, how did you decide how to present your information? Well, um, I was I was actually thinking of that um, last week, and and mom mom mentioned, why don't you be the town caller? I said, who? You know, the guy who. You, Goes out and yells, "Hey, yay, hey, yay!" Hey, hey. uh, or sells pickles. Pickle, pickle. Yeah, that's how it's done. So he would get out on a troll. He would read the proclamation. Right off. I think that's a really, um, I think that's a good way of church comrade boys. I think that's a really good thing to say. Because instead of just sharing, you can have a meeting for the rest of us to enjoy and learn about your topic. Um, elementary, we have an expert here on Renaissance Fair. So if you have any other questions, now is the time to ask. Not about the night, Not about, about night. Renaissance Fair. Where did you go to? Where was the Renaissance Fair? Kansas City. Beatrice. What kind of that? Alexander? I like your soccer. Thank you. Anna? I like your suit. I like your suit. I like your suit. 
<laughs> I like your dirty socks. All right, this sounds like it's over. <laughs> Oh, buddy, questions. Oh,